Hi guys, so it's a new day here and um, we are still working on trying to get our lights hooked up in the back of the bus. So today we're going to focus on getting the wires from here into the bus hooked up to the terminal box and then getting those back lights hooked up and going. So follow us along. So I know Randy's inside already working on this. So let's go check in and see what he's got going on. Well, so these are the heat shrink type connectors. I'm using ring connectors so I can so they don't pull off of the studs. But you get these ones that are the heat shrink, and after you've crimped them on. In this little box, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. I got to do seven of them, but I heat shrink them a few at a time because it's a 12 amp pole on the... Oh, on the... So I do a few of them and let the circuit cool back down mm -hmm. before I do some more. But yeah, so there you can see it heat shrunk down and yeah. and there it's not. And there's our little box back there that we're going to yeah. hook into. Yeah, we're going to come down and turn in and go right there. And then all these wires here are going to come around here and come in from this side so it'll be easy to hook them up without crisscrossing them. Well, get to heating, baby, get to heating. Okay, YouTube, this is too funny. <clears throat> we know it works, but he put the line on the wrong side of the seat belt. So now he's got to unhook all of those. Well, they're not hooked up. It's just difficult to get them pushed in there and they're right. It's a, yeah. That heavy wire is a bit of a but struggle. I think you guys can tell. See, this is coming in front of the seatbelt. It needs to be behind the seatbelt. But live and learn. Oh, you're in the belly of the beast. Well, so... <laughs> Back here is where I unplugged to the ones that I didn't need. Once I separated them out, I just followed them back here and unplugged them from the panels. Mm -hmm. So this is left turn, oops, whatever. That's one turn, that's the other turn. Brake lights, marker lights, and backup lights. So we gotta get those all inside the bus. It's easy to now. our little box so, so I'm going to make them like they've done these ones uh -huh, twist them no I'm not gonna twist them I'm just gonna tape them and I'll feed them through there and where I feed them through I'll put some of that wire loom on it but see they're all still there. they're uh -huh. gonna end up going uh -huh. just like that uh-huh it should be pretty easy I forgot to push record. Well, we got the hole drilled. And here comes the wires. <laughs> we went we went over, we should have went under one. So we gotta pull it back through. Which is easy enough, but Man, you're having trouble. First you went on top of the seatbelt, now you went on top of <clears throat> a loom. It's okay. That's right. Well, you can cut some of that excess wire off. Okay, you're gonna pull but it out. Eventually, we're... we're gonna get down to just what we need. <laughs> right where we need it. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out and push it back through again. Okay. We'll try this one more time, YouTube. Perfect. Okay guys, Randy's been at the back of the bus for a while and there's this um, string of wire leading to the back of the bus. So I'm gonna follow that back there and see what he's got going on. Hey baby, what's happening? <laughs> it's a... Uh... Oh wow, you got um, a mass of wires across the back. Well, I just... I started out and I ran the common ground wire so I could build the, build the wires around it. 
I keep hooking them to each other. And then when I get all done, I'll go back and cut the small junctions and put them all into one junction. But um, just bringing them out of this junction box here. Yeah, which is what we installed yesterday, huh? Yeah, so that's up in the front, hooked into the fuse box, and it runs up on overhead and back down to here. Now, one of the challenges is these LEDs, the wire is super small. So the smallest connector I got, what I've been doing is, pro is probably not kosher, but I've been folding them over like that. So they fill it so up you, better. So you got more wire, huh? Yeah. Using my crimpers to... Crimp it on. And that seems to be pretty good. And then I just tap into that like that's the marker lights or the parking lights, clearance lights, whatever the, the low lights that are on. Uh -huh. So maybe there's some other way to hook from that skinny wire to this big one, but it seems to be working. So I just keep going on the skinny one. So like I'll put this one here so that when I bundle them up, those three won't hit each other. So I'll just tap this here. that thing. There we go. Get those guys on like that and then strip these off farther. Hold them back in half. Crimp them on. And make sure that your tongue in there doesn't do that because when you go to plug it in it'll miss the middle. You got to make sure that that it's thing... It's right in the middle, huh? We learned that the hard way in socks, huh? Yeah. There. Why, well, you're making progress, aren't you? I should have everything but the backup lights. But they still don't blink, so I think I might need to add a resistor. See if these come on with the... Okay. Oh, okay, YouTube, we're watching. Okay, YouTube, so I'm sitting up here in the driver's seat so he can go back and see what's happening. Just so he can have peace of mind for what's going on back there. So, are you happy? The yeah, test just, is good? Yeah, the marker lights are working. All I gotta do is hook up the backup lights, one more. But I'm not gonna check the backup lights until we're off the jacks because I don't want to back up my yeah. accident and yeah. bust something. But their blinkers aren't blinking, and I think it's because they don't have enough resistance. I add this light to it, and then they blink. So when I add that, I get the blink. What's up, YouTube? Still wiring. Um, so I got the blinkers all hooked up. I got that main line ran to the back. I got all the tail lights and everything hooked up, but the blinkers don't blink. So the guys gave me a tip on how to solve that and what was the matter, but I thought it might help other people out. So I kind of went in depth when I did that. So I already know that I got it working and it works. If you want to see how we solve the blinkers not blinking, you can watch the next video, which is going to be on why they didn't blink. <laughs> so don't blink. You might miss it. Anyhow, Hope you guys have lots of love of your life. Your projects are going great. And I hope you don't have too much of this. <laughs>